Hello, Adam here. Very happy to have you again today. All right, today I got another black canvas scene that I got the inspiration from the solar storms that we've been having. I'm sure many of y'all have seen that, and I just thought it was a great opportunity to provide a, a video for some solar lights that is more of a southern scene versus the northern scenes that we normally see. Okay, so I really hope you enjoy this painting. But before we get to the painting, I want to show you guys a few of the paintings that you all have been doing. All right, well, those are just super fabulous. You guys are doing a wonderful job. Keep those paintings coming. I really enjoy seeing them. And if you ever have questions, as always, don't hesitate to hit me up and I'll do my very best to help you out. All right, okay, without further ado, let's get to the painting. Enjoy. I'll start by just letting you know what I got going on here. I've got an 18 by 24 canvas today, a little bit larger than what I normally use, but this is what I had available. So this is what I'm using. All right, I took some acrylic gesso and I just covered the whole canvas in a black acrylic gesso and let it dry real good. Might have took 15 or 20 minutes to dry, but it's important you do let it dry really good. Okay, and then on top of that, I put a thin coat of liquid clear. Very, very thin coat. If you want to see how I put on liquid clear, I've got a video just for that. Okay, and then after that, what I did is I took a little bit, uh, I mixed up a little bit of a lavender color, a little bit of phthalo blue and a little bit of a crimson right here, a little bit more to the blue side probably. And right over in here, okay, I just put some of that lavender color for the night sky. And I put a little bit over here too. And then right here in the center, you can probably see that a little bit. I put a little bit of alizarin crimson, okay? All right, let's get started off. Go down here and grab my two inch brush. It's the same brush I used to put on the crimson. I'm just going to grab a little bit of titanium white. All these black canvases are fun, aren't they? Really enjoying them. So, just a little bit of titanium white. I can always grab more if I need to. And right here in the center, we're just going to put a glow in the sky. There we go. Lose a couple of hairs, no big deal. Just flick them off there. All right. Really bright right there in the center. I'm not gonna keep going all the way over in the corner, not with this brush. All right, once I'm satisfied with this, I'll put that brush down. I'm gonna grab a dry brush, and now I'm gonna keep going. And some of this white that drags over, it's gonna highlight the blue a little bit. But I do not want the blue nearly as bright as the pink. Same thing over here. All right, now notice I'm using kind of a diagonal stroke today. That's what I want in this painting. Okay, like I said in the beginning, you know, this was inspired by the solar storm that we got going on. I hope many of you got to see that. I'm sure you've seen photos of it online or something like that, but really cool event. So I thought I'd use that for some inspiration today. Uh, I think I am going to add some more titanium white. All right, especially down in here, I'm going to have a tree line. I know I'm going to need it to be a little bit wider down in here, but I'll start here in the center. There we go. Brighten that up a little bit. And bring some of this down over there. There we go. Okay. Go back to that dry brush. It's got a little paint on it. That's okay. Continuing on with those Somewhat diagonal strokes. So I've got a little bit lighter down in here now. I think that's going to pay off here in a minute. You will see why. Okay. Yeah. There we go. That's about what that sky was looking like the other night. Something like that. Okay, I'm going to set my palette down now. All right, I'm going to pick up a palette knife and a fan brush, number six fan brush. And I'm just going to just tap a little bit titanium white. All right, titanium white this time. Right up in here. We'll just flick that. Very gentle. Okay. 
Can't see much of what's going on there right now. Put a little bit over here. Don't need too much over here. Okay. Good. All right, I'll pick my palette back up. We'll go back to that brush that was eh, mostly dry. It's got a little color on it now. And this is what I'm going to do. You know, we got a solar storm going on, and I figured, you know what? Why not do something a little bit interesting today? And where we flick the titanium white, you know, you could leave it for stars. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush and just flick this backwards. And hopefully you can see that. It's kind of got maybe a meteor shower sort of effect right there. Ain't that cool? Let's do it over here too. There we go. We just say we got all kinds of a storm going on today. Meteor shower, solar flares, northern lights. It's just an interesting painting. All right, let's continue on. Okay, I'm going to pick up a brush that I used earlier to put the uh, lavender on. It's got a lot of dark color on it. I'm just going to go right back into that lavender. I'll grab a little bit of brown. Just mixing that right there on the brush on the palette. And let's put some trees in here. All right, so right over in here, we'll just put some trees. This will be nice and dark. We're going to leave these trees nice and dark today. Okay. And we'll bring a couple up right here. For the most part, just dark background trees. Let's, let's bring this one a little higher. Okay. And all I'm doing is just tapping straight in and pulling it off. There's really not much of a magic trick to this. But that top comes out like that and just looks like trees in the distance. That's all we need. I'll bring it up a little higher over here. Can't see it too much, but they're there. Okay. All right, now I'm just going to keep that brush and just come right down to the bottom and just kind of drag out some shadows. You, you can't see much of this, I'm sure, but I'm just dragging that out. I'm going to lay in some grass here a minute and kind of put me a little reference line. Okay. And I'll just stick with that same brush and I'll come right up here and get some green, a little bit of yellow ochre. And just kind of make a mix of colors there. And let's do this. Just come right over here. Just put in a little grass line. Not to worry about grassy texture right now. We're just going to put this in and let some of the dark show through and just get some color on here. That's all. I'll continue on to this side. A little bit more green in that. There. Perfect. Just letting it kind of be streaky a little bit. Okay. Okay, I'll pick up that fan brush. You can probably see we'll put a little path right there. So for that, I'll just grab a little yellow ochre. Maybe a little green in it. But just something a little brighter. That's all. Just something a little brighter. Okay. And we'll bring it over this way a little. Fan it out pretty good here in the front. I'll just go over it a few times. Just to blend it. That's how I like to do my paths. I just, just kind of blend it. Just go over it. And we're nowhere near done with this. That's just giving us an idea for now. But you can see how it becomes soft when you just keep going over it. And for a night scene like this, you, you probably want it kind of softer. Okay. And I'll come over here and pick up a liner brush. And I'll just roll it right through a little bit of white. Oh, dirty white there. Maybe I'll grab a little bit of that color. So it's not too white. Okay. You can always lighten it up if we need to, but let's come right over here. And right in these trees, we'll just 
just put in some faint little trunks. There we go. Put as many or few of these as you want. I just try to get to where it's noticeable. And that's about it. Okay. And let me reach over here and pick up a oval brush. We're going to use this here in a little bit. So I'll just grab a little bit of that lavender color. And just in spots over here, I'll just gently touch some of this, especially at the bottom. I'll just push them back into the background. That's all I got to do. Okay. These turned out okay, so I don't need to do too much. But we'll use this brush again, so I'm okay with getting it a little bit dirty. Okay, let me go back to that brush that I laid in the grass, and I'll just get some of this dark color. All right. And on top of the green, oh, let's say right here, we'll put in some bushes. Now, it's a nighttime scene, so these bushes come in a little bit subdued. Grab the bottom, pull it back. Help set it into the painting. There we go. And we'll put one, we'll put one over here as well, a little bit higher. We'll come back and highlight these here in a little bit. That way we'll see them. Same thing, we'll take the bottom and drag it out a little bit. Kind of sets it on a hill covers up the path a little, sets the path down into the painting. All right, here in a second, we're gonna put in a couple big trees, but before we do that, I'll grab a, a clean oval brush. If you got a washer brush, just do that. And I'm just gonna tap a little bit, a little bit of mostly yellow ochre. Right here in the background, I'm just gonna very, very gently Make some indications, some little bushes back here. Don't want these to be overwhelming. Just a little bit. It's very much in the distance, but we can see something. A few little bushes. Don't need much. And we'll use this brush here in a second to put some more bushes up in here. All right, I'll set that down for now. And I'll pick up my filbert brush. All right, I'll take my filbert brush, run it right through some brown here. And I'll come over here and grab some white. Okay. Good bit of white there. And right here, let's put in a tree. Right here out of this grass. I'll just put in a little tree right here. Okay. I don't want it to be too big. I want to keep some of the sky in here. Let's put one more branch running up that way. It's probably about all we need. I'll grab my two inch brush, the one with the dark color, and just cover the bottom of this. Go back and just gently cover the bottom. Just a little bit right there. Set that down. I'll grab my oval brush. And right here. We'll just tap this and put in some bushes. I'm going to lighten that up so you can see it. Sometimes you got to lighten it up just for the camera. But right here, I have a few little bushes. Don't need too much. Just barely touching. Touching and pulling off. Okay. Over here would be the same. Just want a hint of a few bushes here. 
something about like that. I'm going to grab my large two inch brush again and right over here, just in the corner, we'll punch in some more grass. And all I'm doing is taking the brush and pushing it, letting the grass pop up. Harder to see on this dark canvas. Okay, about like that. And let's make one more tree. I'll grab that same brush I was using and right here, stick up another tree. We'll, we'll have this kind of run off that way. And we'll split this one out. Kind of run up here. Work on that bottom just, just a second. You know, you're going to have to take a, a minute when you do this to work this tree a little bit. It'll take a little bit of time. Okay. Pop up a couple branches. There we go. And the same thing. I'll take the big brush, redo the grass in front of the tree, push the tree behind the grass, hide the bottom a little bit, go back with an oval brush, a little bit of yellow ochre, a little bit of titanium white, and we'll just put a few bushes here. Got to leave some of the dark though. Okay. And you know me, sometimes I like to have, well, quite often really, a little bit of grass sticking up, some weeds sticking out. I don't want to overdo it today, but put a couple in there. All right, I'm going to go back to the oval brush I first used with some dark color. I'm going to pick it up and get some more dark color. A little blue, a little brown, just a dark color that works with the scene quite a bit on that brush. Okay. And right over here. Can't see too much of it. You get over here in the pink area you will. Just like that. I just want to just let some of that stick over. Over here I'm going to be cautious. I want some of the, the meteor shower there to show through. So I'm not going to entirely cover that up. All right a branch right there we'll bring that branch to life in a little bit with some highlight and let's come to this other side we'll do the same thing right over here at the top okay that's one of the things I like about this oval brush it really does good for these branches let some leaves stick down into that light area and that's when they'll come to life right there I'm going to leave some of the meteor shower showing through. Okay. There we go. Well, let's come over here and put a, a branch or two right there too. Just to break that up some. All right. Good. I'll set that down. I'll grab my highlight brush. Same brush, an oval brush. I'll just get a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow ochre. Probably a little more white on the video than I, what I would actually do, just so it shows through. I'm just hitting my palette. You can kind of look when you hit your palette and see if it's ready or not. Something like that. Okay, let's take a look at that color. We'll start over here and just gently, right there where I've already hit it, just highlight it just a little. Don't want the highlights to be overwhelming. Just noticeable. Okay. And right down in here, we'll bring that branch to life. Wipe that out a little. Come over here and do the same thing. Start right over here. I'm just really touching gently and pull them back off. All right. Just right on those dark areas, but we're going to let a lot of the dark areas stay. Okay, again, we don't want to cover up all the meteor shower. Let some of that stay. And down here, bring this to life. Okay, set that down. I'm going to grab my fan brush, 
grab just a little bit of light color. It's kind of a dirty white at this point. Let's let's highlight this path one more time. There we go. Right here up front. You can make this as light, dark as you want to. I just I just thought it needed to lighten up so. Go back and smooth it out, blend it in. No big deal. But just just wanted to lighten it a little bit. I think it brings a good contrast to the painting. And with that, I think we'll call this painting complete. I really hope you enjoyed this painting. I had a lot of fun doing it. I think you will too. Don't forget to check out the links to my brushes in the description to the video. Until next time, be blessed and remember, if I can paint, you can too. See you next time.